Okay, YouTubers, today um, we're, we, we have our texture, we have our glow. Here, if we render it, um, our latest progression into making a Tron like figure with Tron like effects is here. We have clothes, we have glowing texture, um, and we have a mesh. The next thing we need to, to do is add some armatures to this guy so we can move him. Armatures are like bones and they manipulate the mesh. So first let's set up our screen. So what I like to do is have this on the side like such and we'll change the perspective and this one on the front. Alright. Next thing we need to do, well, what we're going to focus on today is we're just going to do the spinal column and we're going to, in the next lessons, I'll do the arms and the legs and focus on the eyes. So first what we need to do is make sure that we start in the center. So let's go to Object, Snap, um, let's cast, uh, uh, let's snap the cursor to selected. That'll put the cursor right there in the pelvis, which is right where we want it to be. And now we're going to add an armature. We're just going to do a single bone. They have a human rig that you can mess with, um, but I'm, for the purpose of a tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the whole thing. So we added it, but you can't see it. And that's because the mesh is on the inside. Uh, I mean, the armature is on the inside of the mesh, so we can't see it. So how can we fix this problem? You go, you select the armature, you go to... Um, the object screen and you go down here to display and you click on x-ray. You can also add the name if you want. Those are helpful. Um, now let's let's start with the uh, spinal column and the head and then uh, I'll show you some other things. So first thing I like to do is I like oh we have to go into edit mode. I like to make this follow the spinal column okay so very simply um, you know, go like this this will be its neck whoa let's remove that um, and then we'll do one more for the head and just for kicks I'm gonna do the jaw oh by the way every time I extend I hit E and then I move and since I'm using the side view, I don't have to worry about X's and Y's because I'm only working with two axes. Okay, so to do the jaw, so here's the, here's the back and here's the jaw. Now, we want the jaw to be down here, but we also want it to be connected to the movement of the head. So we're going to go to Armature, Parent, Clear, Disconnect Bone. Hit G to move it, and then align the jaw with the pivot point of the jaw and um, the head. Now, let's see, move this a little bit more like this. Now, if I went to pose mode and I rotated this, you see the jaw will move with it. All right, now let me show you some other quick things before I end the video. You can make the bones look like whatever you want, you can make them look like sticks. I like to do this during animation. You can use B bodies or envelope. Since I don't like to deform based on envelope, I just like to use vector groups. Um, I'm going to go B body and let me show you why. So, right now it's kind of not really useful. Um, hit A so we can select everything. Hit Control Alt S and scale them down. This will make them thinner. If you just hit S, it changes the entire scale. But if you do Control Alt S, it contains the it, it, it changes the girth of the the B bodies. So hit F3. I mean hit three again, so you can get aligned. And let me show you one of the coolest things with B bodies. Um, go to the bone thing over here in your properties panel. Open up the deform, and you'll see these really cool attributes. See them in effect. We're going to have to go to pose mode. So we're in pose mode. We've selected our bone. The thing that's interesting about a spinal column and it's made up of tons of little bones that all bend. And what we have here is a very large bone. 
So by adding these segments, we will be simulating a spinal column. The head doesn't need any. But let me show you why this is cool. So when you move, let's add one more. When you move the head, you'll see that the neck also changes. When you move the neck, you'll see that the back also changes. When you move this, you'll see that the waist changes. And if you move your back in real life, you'll notice you do these things. But when you go to edit mode, it's really just this. So it simplifies your, it simplifies your armature rigging structure, um, but it also gives you a much cooler realistic effect. So the last thing to do, and do not hesitate this, because, I mean do not not do this because this is really important, M please name your armatures because um, later on you will get confused. I get confused of what is what. So um, I highly recommend it. So just go through here. It doesn't have to be anything amazing, just something that you can remember. Alright, so that's today. Now tomorrow I'm going to show you how to do the shoulder and the arm. And then another day I'm going to do the hand and we'll do the legs and the feet. And then we'll add an eye and some tongues. It's a lot of work, but then we'll have a really good mesh at the end of it. Save your work and see you next time.